Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Bakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. Um, this is the video, you know, going around YouTube. You know, I recommend brothers watch it, man. It says, must watch. Persecution is coming. And, um, you know, the brother in the video goes into um, this, this phone call of where this Edomite is, you know, lying, you know, saying, I heard you like little girls. And the brother was cursing his ass out, man, telling Esau to come on with it, you know, because Esau, all right, he, he, he know that this truth is coming out, man. All right. So in order to, you, to, quench, it, to quench the truth, you're going to come with lies, man. And Esau is going to push his lies, all right, on us, you know, because if, if Esau can't get you in his pocket, he's just going to kill you, man. All right. But this proves also, all right, that we, all right, that this word is going out, man. It's not going out void, as the scriptures say, that this word is going out, man. As the scriptures say, exalt the voice um, that they may go into the gates of the nobles. So guess what, man? It's truth. Is what going now? I'm going out into the gates of the nobles, man. Okay. And um, I was reading this Matthew's five. It says uh, verse eleven. Blessed are ye, when men shall revile you, and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sakes. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. So we standing in our lot, and our lot is to prophesy. And as prophets of the heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, arises written in John, I believe it was the John the 16th chapter, you know, um, that basically they will persecute us, you know. Yeah, that's probably one of them um, damn devils calling me now, man. You know? And, um, you know, I'm pretty sure brothers could attest to that. You got people calling you, all right? You answer the phone, they don't say shit. You call them back, the numbers, um, you know, miraculously has been disconnected. You know? So we know them devils uh, is, uh, we, they getting, they being affected by this word. So it says, blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you. And shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sakes. So that's a blessing. Alright? Because we fighting for the love of Yahweh through Yahweh Shai. Alright? So for us to, um, you know what I'm saying, be accounted worthy. Just to be even spoke down upon for Yahweh Shai. That's, that's beautiful in itself. Like the brother in this, the video brought out. How Paul even said, how we got to come in that spirit of Paul, man. In Romans the ninth chapter, he says, For I could wish that I myself were a curse, just as Yahweh shot, man. For he wished that himself would put on that uh, cross, man, instead of Yahweh shot. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Okay? Ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost its savior, wherewith shall it be salted? All right. And, you know, when we taking off them corners, all right, this place is going to go with hell and hot waters, man. Because really we out there to seal the elect. As written in Revelation 7 chapter, you know, when the Lord, um, the Lord is holding back the four winds, all right, which basically represents the destruction of, of this earth until what the elect are sealed. To us, through the Lord, through his men, through the prophets. Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savior, wherewith shall it be salted? It is this for good for nothing, but to cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Alright, so once Esau put his hands, as the scriptures say, touch my uh, prophets, touch not my anointed, neither do my prophets no harm. When Esau does that, man, this place is going to fall quick, as the scriptures say. You know, um... Just grab it. This is Habakkuk. Habakkuk two. And um, I guess yeah. I just start at the top. It says, "I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and will watch to see what he will say unto me 
and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord said unto me, answer me, and said, Write the vision, and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that read of it. I mean, they like to waking up through us putting the, uh, making the vision plain, man. As the, you know, even before, you know what I'm saying, the chip is being made mandatory, mandatory, you know, we're going out there, we're doing constant videos, you know what I'm saying, brothers doing um, editing, you know, showing that the chip is Mark of the Beast and that it is being man mandated, you know. Even at camp, man, people that drop by, they may not hear what we say, but what? They see the uh, the banners that brothers hold up. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end, it's locked. It says, it says, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. All right? So once Esau... All right, put us on front street as far as uh, demonizing us. Then that's when this place is going to fall quickly, man. Matthew 5 and 14. Ye are the light of the world, a city. I'm going to start at 13 against Lot. Ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost its savior, wherewith shall it be salted? But if the soul have lost his savior, wherewith it's locked in, so let me make sure. Shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to cast out and be trodden underfoot. You know, and I also, you know, just a, another uh, point I got after I was reading that is to stay in his truth. You know, to stay in his truth, man, because this truth. All right, it's life, man. Like Yahweh Shah said, what these words that I speak to, unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So if you forsake these words, technically you're dead, man. The scriptures say, what he that wandereth out of the, the way of understanding is in the congregation of the dead. All right, this is Matthew 5 and 14. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Okay. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel. But on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. You know? So by us being out there, well, it's giving light unto everybody, man. Light on Esau's wickedness. Light to Israel to who they are. Alright? And if it's light, then what? It outshines the darkness, man. Which Esau hates. Esau the damn devil. Alright? So-called white man. Let your light so shine before men. That they may see your good works and glorify your power which is in heaven. You know? And that's what they're going to persecute us for. For preaching the gospel, man. Alright? And the gospel is the good news. Alright? That Israel is going to, you know, soon be out of captivity. Alright? That you do have enemies. That you are a prince of the power. That's the good news. Alright? That's good works, man. Think not. Oh, no. That was it on that. You know, so we, we basically made made ourselves a spectacle, man. And grab that. Uh first Corinthians four and nine, for I think that God has set forth us, the apostles, alright, because we were sent forth from the heavenly father, alright, through Yahweh Shai. Us the apostles last as they were appointed to death. Okay? So that's that persecution period. For we are made a spectacle unto the world, to angels, and to men. Hey, and another thing, man. You want to pray, ask the Lord, give me the strength to endure until death. You know? No matter what, man. Because that's worst case scenario, being put to death for this truth. All right? For I think that God has set forth us, the apostles last, as they were appointed to death. All right? So we appointed for those... All right, who Esau really is going to uh, get to, man. Hey, that's another thing we got to pray for, man. Prayer is important. You know, pray to ask the Lord, all right, to give you the spirit to, uh, oh, yes, like I said, uh, to give you the spirit to endure, man. You know, no matter what, what the case may be, man. You know, like the Maccabees uh, brothers, man. The Most High put his spirit, his spirit on them, man. For we are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels 
and to men. It basically means the spectacle is like some some someone that the world looks looks onto, man, because we are the light. You know? We are the light, man. You know, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans standing up for righteousness, man. Being together in unity. All right? You know, uh, reproving a uh, wickedness. That's a spectacle into the world, man. You know? This is, let's see. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 15. Yeah, true faileth. Actually, where am I going to start at? 59 and 13. This is our people. In transgressing and lying against the Lord and departing away from God, speaking oppression and revolt, conceiving and uttering from the heart words of falsehood. You know? That's in... Hey, most is going to be mainly our people too. You know, you're going to have Esau who basically uh, carries out, all right, the judgment as far as some of us being put to death, all right? But you're going to have our, our, our people uh, helping them out, man, you know, slandering us, lying on us as they do today, man. The scoffers, you know what I'm saying, saying that we rape little girls and stuff like that. That's a slander. And judgment is turned away backward and justice standeth afar off for truth is fallen in the street, and equity cannot enter. Yet truth faileth, and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey or a spectacle. All right? And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. Okay? That's the point, man. We are light of the world. We are made a spectacle. All right? And Esau is showing us, look, I hear y'all. All right, but all right, the fact that he hears us now, he's gonna want to silence us. All right, but we come out here in the spirit and power. Yeah, how about Shimmy? How was y'all, man? This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 1. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this rule, and go and speak unto the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat the roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat. And fill thy bowels with this roll that I may give thee. You know? Like uh, the Most High basically put the light within us. Then did I eat, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he said unto me, Son of man, go get thee into the house of Israel and speak my words unto them. Okay. All right. So, with, hey, man, the jig is almost up for you devils, man. You know? Because as soon as you do that, man, the Lord going to make his move. All right? The Lord is going to make his move, man. All right? As far as him lifting up a standard for the, for the elect. Hey, so with that, you know, just something quick. And that's another thing, you know, just want to add that too, man. You know, just keep it simple, man. Just go into a few precepts, you know, break it down. And Lord willing, you know, the elect could be edified. Hey, so with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honest to the apostles and elders of great millstone. Shalom to the elect. Shalom, Akin.